Batch tracking allows you to track a batch of products from its creation right through to its sale. When you receipt a purchase order that includes a batch tracked item, you will be prompted to indicate the batch number before being able to receipt the purchase order. So here we have a purchase order for our Sweetheart candy, which is a batch tracked item. When we receipt it, it will indicate that the 10 products are batch tracked and it will appear in red in the batch column. You would then click on the plus sign and enter the batch number, expiry date and quantity for those products. Then click add batch. Once done, the number will turn green and you'll be able to go ahead and receipt the purchase order. If you create a supplier return, again, it will indicate that the batch numbers need to be entered by highlighting the text in red in the batch column. Click on the plus sign and select the relevant batch and indicate the number of products to be included in that batch. If you do not select the exact quantity, the number will still remain red and you will not be able to proceed. Once your quantity is correct, however, you are able to complete that supplier return. Thanks for watching.